morning. Um, how in the world do I dive into this? Um, I don't want to go into some in-depth study, although I've been doing things, but I don't want it to come off uh, half half baked and half thought through. Um, but I'll just say this: I I am really disturbed, aggravated, and tired of the current tactics of uh, social debate and the social forum of today's discussion about just topics, uh, hot topics, hot button issues, and um, I there are a couple of phrases that just keep running around my brain every time I see certain posts and things coming out here. Um, one is that I had a professor in seminary that was specifically in the area of uh, ethics and um, apologetics somewhat uh, and he made the statement the one who defines the terms wins the debate and I have seen so much of just trying to change the meaning of things trying to go back and centuries and millennia of history of what something meant and what its context was and what it meant and that just gets thrown out the window because, well, you know, it's only, all that matters is the current reader's impression of it. What? You know? Um, and so we have this on one end where the redefining of the terms. Okay, then we go um, to the other end of things and, you know, <laughs> from the youngest of ages, I remember the adage or the idiom, you can't have your cake and eat it too, okay? The The idea is that you either got to go after something that you want or save it for another day. You can't, you know, you can't experience the joy of something and preserve it for later, okay? Um, and the, the thing that I've seen happening is... Uh, people on a side of a debate or such will go through and accuse the other side of doing the very thing that they are doing, you know? Um, like, they'll go in and say, oh, they, they redefined this term and, and made it say this, when really, for the longest time, it's meant this. Well, they're accusing the other side of redefining the term when, in essence, what they are doing is redefining the term. And, I, you know, it's, it's very disturbing. It's very bothersome because, ultimately, I'm not even sure the goal is to win defining the term. It's to throw out the standard for a basis for debate. Ultimately, to get rid of things as a possible source of uh, truth or uh, validity or fact or whatever. It's just an attack on the entire thing. And I, it, it upsets me because my children have to grow up in a world where you can no longer just rely on certain things being true and valid and fact. Um, it's more based on what your particular persuasion or flavor is as to what the truth is. And that is n that has not been the case up until our current context. Um, that's never been the case. Anyway, uh, I, I will probably come up with a more, more coherent, specific uh, 
case of things, but that was about all I could handle in about five minutes worth. So, uh, sorry, not quite as positive as others, but I had to get this out there. So, catch you later.